In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you're very well. It is Thursday of week three of Lent. Today, uh, the, the 7th March 2024, we celebrate Saint Perpetua and Felicity, both matters. Our gospel passage is taken from Luke chapter 11, verses 14 to 23. Amazement in the gospel does not always lead to faith. People are amazed to see Jesus liberate a man who was unable to speak from the evil power that prevented him from speaking. But rather than seeing here the clear intervention of God's saving power, they see in Jesus the power of another evil spirit. More than that, they ask Jesus to give some special sign to his authority of his authority and identity. Jesus shows up the contradictions of their position. First, he has just given a powerful sign, but they choose not to see it as such. Secondly, a divided household can only collapse. If Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? This we read. Why would Satan be undoing his own work? And if it is through Satan that Jesus casts out Satan, by what power? Do other exorcists among them do it? If the answer is by God's power, why should they make an exemption of Jesus? And if it is by God's power, the only other alternative, that Jesus liberates people from evil powers, then they should know that God's kingdom, God's reign, has come among them. Far from being an accomplice, Jesus is the stronger man who is driving Satan from all his strongholds. Both readings today urge us to listen carefully to God speaking to us in our lives. Let us not be blinded by prejudice, arrogance, or any kind of whichever kind which might prevent us from recognizing the signs or the voice or the hand of God in people and experiences we encounter during any ordinary day. There are many times when we write off people and events and so fail to realize that God is always saying something important to us through them. People may be saints or sinners. It does not matter. God can and does use any channel to reach us. You remember yesterday we reflected on the in the in our first reading we reflected on the healing of naman and we did remember the central person in the healing story of naman is a slave girl a societal nobody then and we did say we were reminded that god can use anyone to reach to us let's open our minds and our hearts. Thank you and God bless. Let us pray. My Father, 
Ed my king I am thankful for the gift of Christ whose death tore the veil between you and humanity giving us access to you and for your spirit which you have put in us seeding us as your own you have placed eternity in our hearts which only can feel us this thursday i ask you that you lead me into deeper levels of intimacy with you feel my heart with a desire to know you more and seek your kingdom above all things give me the grace to consistently spend time in your presence reveal your heart your nature and will to me so that i may live in alignment with them refine me in my impurities so that i can look more like you with each passing day help me to also spur others around me to seek you through my lifestyle may i seek your counsel and approval rather than that of men in all things and at all times in jesus name i pray amen glory be to the father to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen my dear friend i remain your present servant father ck wishing you a productive thursday in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen